Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ghostly Gamer here, bringing you the Khajiit Templar, the Sunwalker healer. Um, this is very strong healer, very good for vet dungeons. Uh, even bringing it to trials, you just need to change a little bit of gear. Um, but anyways, let's get right into it. Um, basically, want to stack healing power on this uh, this build with the new patch. The healing power is buffed. Let's get buffed up here. Let me show you guys. We are at. 32k mag magicka, 39 spell crit, 1600 spell power, 22 spell resist, 18k physical resist, uh, 23k magicka on that bar. We actually go up a bit. And we go to this bar. Goes to 20, almost 2500 on this bar. But this is our main healing bar. This is our buff bar, and we apply buffs, uh, synergies on this bar. Anyways, let's get into this. We have the Ritual Munda Stone. We are basically building around that. Uh, that tooltip, 11%, should be a lot higher. Um, I just don't have full divines yet. Uh, so let's get into the gear. We have Symphony of Blades. This is the monster set you would want to use if you have it. If you don't have it, um, I don't actually have the full set. I only have the first piece. Working on getting the second piece still. Um, this basically is a very good um, monster set. When you heal an ally who is under 50%, their primary resource um, grant them Meridia's favor, restoring 2200 magicka or stamina, whichever is higher, every one second for six seconds. So that is a total of about, um, like, I want to say like 50, almost 1500 uh, magic, or sorry, magicka or stamina every 18 seconds. It's really good uh, to help your group. And with all the synergies we have in our skills, it's going to help a lot. Um, you want divines on every piece of gear. Um, I don't have divines, unfortunately, on every piece of gear. But you would want divines uh, to increase the Wonder Stone effect on every gear. And you want max magicka on at least five pieces, I recommend. Um, at least five. And then you can throw health on a few pieces, just to give you a bit, uh, bit of bulk, a bit of HP. Just to survive mechanics and go into the jewelry we have arcane on all of them and mag recovery on all of them nice and simple uh, for the sets uh, we have seducers it's our main sustain set this is a very good sustain it is crafted um, crafted here in stormhaven right outside of waycrest armor of the seducer as magicka recovery, max mag, magicka recovery, and reduces the cost of all your mag spells by 8%. So that's huge, very good. Very easy to make as well. Then you want divines on all that, if possible. And to the weapons, we have um, seducer weapons, because they're I guess they're easier, because uh, our other set isn't crafted, so it's harder to farm. Rest of staffs, in my opinion. Um, so we do have powered on the staffs. Um, seducer staffs with powered absorb magic and enchant on this staff so we're gonna have lots of healing done percentage again going to the other set this is an optional set uh, just pretty much what I have here uh, it's very the reason I have it in the build is feature tier is it is very easy to get this is one of the first dungeons uh, you unlock you can get this uh, from spindle clutch I believe so you can get this at a very low level same with seducer so you can pretty much rock this build at any level and you could uh, you could be a very good Templar healer, uh, for, and uh, dungeons, um, vet dungeons, anything like that. So prayer it puts a absorb on heal uh, people you heal for a six percent chance. So it's like a proc. It's very low proc, but it's it's pretty cool when it procs. I like it. it gives us a, a little bit of spell damage, a little bit of mag recovery, a little bit of max mag, and a little little shield here and there to give everyone a little bit of extra health. Um, moving on, moving on to the skills, or actually we'll go to the food. We have Witch Mother's Potent Brew. Um, you could switch this out for more mag and more health, because uh, our sustain is already very good. But this is, my opinion, it's pretty easy to make. It's very common, might as well use it. Um, Witch Mother's Potent Brew is that. Um, going on to the skills, we have our front bar. It's our main, main bar we're going to be healing with. <clears throat> we have Inner Light, this is the Major Skill Morph, that gives us the Major Prophecy and Max Magicka. A slot, you all know about this here, so this is very good. You want all the passives in the Major Skill, uh, don't have enough skill points to get those right now. 
been on my necromancer a lot just wanted to get a templar quick templar build out there for you guys for elsewhere uh, next skill is ritual of retribution this is to purge uh, Morton into the retribution just to do a little bit more damage uh, for the group as well as uh, get them that purge there people in them are healed as well next is mutagen and this is a very good heal this is our hot that we have on the tank and pretty much everyone else at all times when they fall below 20% health it consumes the heal for a big burst heal next is energy orb which is from the undaunted skill line um, we don't actually have the Anana passes yet so our setup for armor scooting back to arm here excuse me we should be in all light armor if you don't have the undaunted passives or you could be all five light and two heavy that works as well but when you do get the undaunted passives um it is it is uh it's not it's not needed but you could go um one medium one heavy rest light five light um to be honest like all light works fine you just want to throw a little bit of health in chance, maybe to make sure you're a little bit sustainable. Um, all right, back to the skills. Um, energy orb, yes, this is undaunted. If you don't have this, say you you don't have undaunted leveled up, uh, it's it is a very good skill. So I do recommend you try get undaunted leveled up to get this. But if you don't, say you are a fresh healer, you could use use a resto shield here, use uh, combat prayer. Uh, so something like that uh, next is breath of light breath uh, breath of life you all know what this is it's a very good spammable heal uh, tooltips down to 34k mag to use so we can get lots of these oh and if we ever need we can just heavy attack for our ma magica and our ultimate is the lights champion I, li I like this ult a lot because it gives our group major force for five seconds and this is the level one morph like I could level this up so the tooltip is going to be a lot higher um, a lot higher so 120 ultimates pretty cheap pretty cheap very good gives a uh, damage buff to the group so you want to use this if um, you know as an offensive kind of morph um, there is a, a more healing morph if you if you do want that but I do recommend this is pretty good buff as well as uh, being a Templar you do favor crit crit heals and stuff so crit damage crit heals um, getting into this bar now we have Radiant Aura from Restoring Light. While slotted, you gain your uh, minor fortitude, minor endurance, minor intellect. So all your recoveries by 10%. And you put the Magicka Steel, minor Magicka Steel on enemies for your whole group. So everyone gets mag uh, back from attacking those enemies for 24 seconds at last. So quite a while. So you want to keep that up at all times. Uh, next is this channeled focus. Um, this is our resistances, and we get a little bit of sustain from our mag pool from standing inside, as well as a bonus to resistances from being inside. But if you do move out, it is it is okay. Um, let's get into this. Then we have the luminous shards. Everyone knows this spell here. You want to help that uh, keep that up all the time for your tank for your stam deeps for even anyone to use just to sustain their uh, stuff there as well as your healing orbs so you can get synergies going um, next is the this is purifying light i'm pretty sure it is called so yeah purifying light it's, um, basically we have this here to get illuminate for our group and it is a very good heal that does a little pool of healing after it explodes. So that is very cool to do. You guys will see the effect go on the ground there. Nice little heal on the ground. Does a nice amount of damage, copies damage for your group. And it applies illuminate, so you give your spell uh, damage buff to your group. Very good. Entropy, I have uh, this here for major sorcery. Um, you definitely want to morph this when you are able to morph it. Either morph would work, you can get more health on the morph, or you could get it for your light attacks to heal. Um, we do want all the passives, obviously, in all the uh, class skills and the restoration staff, because we're running double resto staff. Just missing a few passives here. Just need a few more combo points, or sorry, skill points. And uh, all passives in light armor, and you could take the first three in heavy if you were running too heavy. And you would want to get the first three in medium if you had undaunted and you want all mage guild passives and the remembrance is the oh oh crap button that you're going to use if you are in trouble 
um, if you know you're going to take a big hit, if your group is, is all dying and you need to get a big heal out and you're just in a bad position, you would you would pop this bad boy. I'll pop it off here. So you would you would want to use it while you're in your ruin. You would take even less damage and you would be, I want to say, invincible pretty much. Um, at least I feel like that in PvP when I'd use it. This isn't a PvP build, but it, in PvE circumstances, it saves me a lot in hard modes. Um, some stuff can hit the fan, and and you just hit that button. You, you, you buy your group like that. How long does it last? Eight seconds? You buy your group like eight seconds of... Uh, ten seconds. It's pretty good. <clears throat> so, that is the skills. Um, okay, moving on to CP. Um, we have... I'm just going to show you guys what I would recommend. This is always optional, but the main ones I'm going to put emphasis on is Blessed. Because we are stacking healing done uh, with the ritual with the powered uh, resto staff so you want to get that as high as possible before it starts it starts uh starts uh, diminishing returns um at a certain amount so you want to watch it when the percent starts moving up very slowly you can switch it over to elfborn uh get elfborn up until that is slowing down as well then you, you can move the rest of the points wherever you want to be honest but you want to focus on those two the most Moving on to the red tree, this is optional as well. I spread my points um, pretty thin here. I recommend you do the same so you get these these bonuses up here. When you roll dodge, you, you physical spell resist and stuff like that. It's just it's just nice to have, it's not needed. But and then quick recovery is, is what I think is I don't I don't think it's needed, but it's one of the best ones for healers in this tree. Bastion and quick recovery because we are running the prayer set shield so that should help that a little bit um moving on to here we have warlord definitely want that definitely want sprinter a little bit uh, i definitely want arcanist this is the main focus here that's why we got so much uh, recovery we've got 70 points in arcanist so that helps us a lot if you are low cp just start out with the arcanist there that will help you a lot uh health recovery as well is pretty nice Tumbling or cruise, uh, dual, uh, ro roll dodge is always always good because some mechanics you do need to roll for dungeons. All right, guys. So that's basically the build. This is uh, the Templar Sunwalker. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's done me well when I uh, take it into vet dungeons, vet content. It's very fun. Very. I feel comfortable playing the healer. Um, I'm gonna get work on a PvP build, but this is just the the PvV, PvE version. I might test it in PvE, uh, PvP, sorry, to see how it goes. But I think we might have to put some in pen, get more resist, uh, resistances maybe. But um, thank you guys for watching. Um, and this is Ghost of Gamer TV. Uh, thank you for all the subs, the comments, and all that. It uh, helps me a lot. It keeps me motivated. So thank you very much. And until next time, guys. Take care.